Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I've got. So, this is a British fillet steak. 28 day matured. Ashfields. So, there it is, look. So, I've had it out. I took it out. And it's been resting for about... Oh, over 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So it's got the red tractor certified standard there and it's 100% British beef. So that is that. And it was four pounds and 49 pence. So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself. So I did and I bought the steak. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook it. A few people have said, why don't you cook it in the air fryer? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook it in the air fryer. Um, this is all new to me. I, I don't want to ruin this steak. I really do not want to ruin this steak. So I've got a little plan in my head of how, how I'm going to do it. So let's have a look at this steak. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a pat. There it is, look. I'm just going to get all the moisture off it. Oh, I tell you what, now soft. Wow. So it's uh, so there it is. Look, I'll put that in the bin. So let me get a bit of better light for you and show you this little little red blotch of meat. <laughs> That's all it is, isn't it? Look at it. Oh, it's only uh, a few mouthfuls and it'll be gone. <laughs> so let's. Um, I'm going to weigh it actually, I'm going to weigh it, see how heavy it is. So there's a few instructions, let's have a look on here. So, of how to cook it. So you shallow fry it, uh, all the times are there, or you can grill it. Uh, there is a the nutritional information if you'd like to have a look at that. Um, Yeah, and that is that look. Cut the waste so you can, <coughs> excuse me, so you can uh, um, recycle everything. It's all recyclable, which is great, isn't it? Um, so that is there. Does it say anything else about where the meat is from? Just says British, doesn't it? Yeah, what's that there? Uh, there you go. Anyway, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? It says slaughtered in Great Britain. There, cut in Great Britain. Even told you when it was cut. Look, UK EC. I'm gonna weigh it. I'm gonna see what it. I'm gonna see what it is. I'm gonna see how heavy it is because I don't think it says there, does it? It just says 28 days matured. It doesn't say what weight it is, does it? Right, scales time. So let's let's weigh it. What's that in pounds? In pounds, ounces. There we go. There it is. So it's six ounces, isn't it? Well, just under six ounce. That is that look. Six ounces, cranky. Six ounces, that's about three mouthfuls, isn't it, really? Two ounces a mouthful. <laughs> so when you've been handling raw meat, always give your hands a wash. So I have just been touching it, haven't I? I will. I do wash my hands a lot as well. Always washing my hands, so. So anyway, come on over here with me. Come and follow me, follow me. So let's get this on. So I'm, what I'm going to do, you can see it and saute there, look, you see, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have it on high. Uh, I don't know how to work this, to be honest. Uh, it's got high, so is it on now? Is that, is that it then? Mid? Oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. I've never done this before. So you've got low, medium, medium high and high. So I'm going to have it on high. So I'll take it. It must be on. Must be on. We'll find out any minute when I put my hand in there. <laughs> of course, I won't touch it, though. You know, I'll just see if it's hot. So let's... Uh, what I'll do, I'll bring you back when this is warmed up. Right, sussed it. So that's warming up now. So I'm just going to give it a little spray of oil, that's all. On both sides. I'm just going to get a spray with oil on both sides like that. I'm not going to season it yet. I'm going to season it on the next stage. That's what I'm going to do. So come over here with me. So it's warming up now, look. 
It's on high. It's warming up. I've not done anything in there. I've not put any oil or anything in it. I've put the oil on the steak. I'm leaving that alone. So, there it is, look. So I've had it on for two or three minutes now and it's getting quite hot, that is. It's getting really hot. I can feel the heat coming off it now. Uh, so I'm gonna pop the steak in in a minute. So if you like this um, content of video, if you like this sort of thing, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss any of my videos. And leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had any steaks from um, Aldi or what sort of steak do you prefer? I mean, me, I personally like a ribeye. Ribeye steaks are gorgeous. And they've got a lot of fat running through them and they're tasty. A lot of marble in the fat and they're, ooh, they are, they are lovely. But I mean, anything, anything. I'll eat anything, to be honest. Well, within reason. So I'm going to give it a test now and see if it's ready for this steak. Yeah, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. I'm going to pop the steak on there. I'm going to do a minute each side. And then I'm going to pop this rack in. And I'm going to sit the steak on the rack. And I'm going to cook it on air crisp for three minutes. At about 170 and then that's it. See what it's like. This is all. This is all learning as I go along here. Normally, what I do, I do it in that. I do it in the pan there. You see, I'd normally whap it in there, like. But I'm not. I'm giving this a go because that's what it's all about. That is. That is quite hot now. So let's let's get this on. See what it's like. So oh, you can hear it's uh, so it's at temperature. I'll set the timer for a minute. Keep washing my hands as I go along, getting rid of that umsk. <laughs> and what I'm going to do as well, once it's finished and once it's resting, I'm going to stick some some chips in. Got some uh, McCain's fries. I got them from Iceland as well. Uh, I'm going to pop them in. Just only a few. So I'm going to I'm going to load a salt on top of them. So that's what I'm going to have. Fillet steak and fries. Or chips. <laughs> they are became fries to be fair. Oh, there's a minute. So I've not touched the steak. I've not touched it at all. I'm going to turn it over now. If I can get it over. There we go. Oh, there we can see it now. Dark in here in this corner, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to set the timer for another minute now. And that is that, and then I'm going to air fry it. Air crisp it. I'm going to do it on air crisp, so this is like in real time, isn't it? So I'll bring you back in a minute. So it's out. I'm going to put it on the rack, and basically what I've done, I'm just going to preheat my oven for two minutes. Just going to preheat it, get it up to temperature, so when that goes in for three minutes, you know, it's going to be at the right temperature. Oh, look at that scene there now. Oh, and the chips go in here, look. They're going there. So I'm going to give it a season now, look. Nice bit of salt. And a bit of pepper. Only a bit. There we go. That is that. So that when that's finished, it's going to go in there. I'm going to sit that inside there and I'm going to air crisp it for three minutes at about 180. So that's sat in there now. So I'm going to close that up. Uh, air crisp. I'm going to do it for 180. Three minutes. So I can see what that's like. It's all trial and error, isn't it? It's all trial and error with the old um, <clears throat> air fryer, especially when you're getting to learn, you know, learn it. So this is how I like to learn. I, I do look, look at cookbooks and things, but I sort of get a, an idea and then I just like to tinker myself, you know, being a, being a bloke like, <laughs> thinks he knows best. <laughs> so I'll bring you back in a few minutes and we'll check it. And if not, we'll stick it in for another minute. 
So what I forgot to do as well, I'm going to um, add a knob of butter on top. Look, just sit a knob, knob of butter on top of there. So I've still got two minutes left. There we go. Forgot the knob of butter. <laughs> it's on now anyway. That'll just sink in there. So it's been seasoned, salt and pepper, knob of butter. So I'll bring you back in two minutes. So there it is. It's For me that needs a lot longer. It's very, very, it's just basically not even cooked inside. So I'm going to do it for another two or three minutes. So I'll put it in for another three minutes, so that'll be like six minutes. <clears throat> Easier doing it in the frying pan. <laughs> three minutes each side on the frying pan. Anyway, I just thought I'd try it. It's, that's what it's all about. I bought it and I do like tinkering. So there we go. I am trying it. Although next time, it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's a learning curve. Could always put the heat up. Could smash it up to 220 for say two minutes, but we'll see. You know, I don't want to blast it too much. I want to try and have it medium rare. So well, it's medium rare to medium me. I, I don't not. I'm not fond of it being rare, and I'm not fond of it being overcooked. <laughs> So that's it, I'm going to leave it now, I'm not going to cook it anymore. Uh, six minutes at 180, that's what it's done in the air fryer. So basically I've put that lid down because I'm going to put my chips in there now and try and keep the heat in. So I've got some foil, I'm going to put some foil over it, just, keep it, just let it rest now. I'm going to let it rest for 10 minutes while I do these chips. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll keep it, uh, keep it warm. Chips are in, right let's get them on. Turn it on. Uh, I'm going to bake roast them. Do it at 200. 10 minutes. Right, they're off. Chips are off. 10 minutes they'll take. So I'll bring it back in 10 minutes. Chips are done. Seven and a half minutes. <laughs> they are done. Look at that, so crispy as well. Amazing, this is amazing. So I'm gonna season them now as well. I'm gonna get a good season. There we go. Can't go wrong with a bit of salt. Cool, look at them. Look at that. Hmm. So tasty. So it's this. This steak is the. <laughs> Let's have a look, see what this steak's like. So let me, let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go, look. That is that. I'm going to chop it. I'm going to get into it now and see what it's like. So here we go. Here we go. I think the grain's running that way, so I'm going to chop it that way. I think you've got to go against the grain, have you not? Is it against the grain? Look at that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Oh, it's looking just how I like it, that. Look at that. Oh, oh look at that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna try it. There we go. Mm. Mm. It's gone. Oh, wow. Oh, wowzers. That is just so, it just melts in the mouth. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
gone. Wowzers. That is lovely. Oh, that is lovely. That is just worked out perfect for me, that. Perfect. See, it pays, doesn't it, just to tinker around. You get it right in the end, don't you? Wow, and the chips as well. Chips are all crisp as well. Look at that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Look at that. That'll do for me. We got there in the end. So I'm going to get down. I'm going to get in the, into that now. I'm going to get some bread. I'm going to have some butties with it as well. Oh, oh, oh. So that, yeah, it's 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 beautiful. Yeah, I'd buy them fillet steaks again. They're, they're top marks for me. Top marks. There's nothing wrong with that at all. At the moment. <laughs> Let's see what it's like when it's finished. There's, there's no fatty bits in there, though. It is a fillet bit of steak. Amazing. So thanks very much for watching. You got this far. I appreciate it. So take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.